how to lose weight super fast and super easily at home without any exercise. Today's video is all about the diet side of weight loss. And if you're someone who's just here because of the thumbnail that said 5 kgs of weight loss in one week, don't worry, I do have a solution for you. Fast forward to that part of the video. But you also got to understand that today's video is your ultimate guide to weight loss, especially when we're talking about the diet side of things. Remember how you look and your weight depends primarily on your diet. Exercise does help you a little bit. I'd say it's about 20% to 30% of your overall weight loss journey, but primarily your weight loss is dependent on your diet. Now I will get to the actual do's and don'ts when it comes to weight loss dieting, but there's two ground rules you need to know. Rule number one, diets and dietitians are a thing of the past. All the time I'm asked, Hey, beer bicep, diet plan then. I'm like, bro, diet, diet, I want a diet. Diet, I want a diet. But in truth, weight loss isn't about following a fixed meal plan. Weight loss is learning about food science and making better food decisions and also understanding that you're living in 2017. You've already grown up in a time when junk food and dessert and delicious food has been all around you. So if you want to lose weight successfully, you have to incorporate those factors. You can't follow a diet unless it's actually a fun diet to follow. If you want to lose weight in the long term, you'll only be able to stick to a plan if you're also enjoying it along the way. That's the idea I promote on Beer Biceps. Your life has to be a balance of fitness and fun. But the ground rule number two is that the only key to losing weight is the caloric theory. Your calories out need to be more than your calories in every single day up till the point that you reach your target weight. So say your target weight is 60 kilos, till the point you reach that 60 kilo mark on the weighing scale, you constantly need to create a caloric deficit every single day. Now the way I look at it, the speed of your weight loss is decided by a scale. On one side of the scale, it's an easier version of weight loss. You're able to lose weight very easily and you don't have to make that many sacrifices, you don't have to follow that many rules. You'll end up losing about 0.5 kgs every single week and that's a very good healthy way of losing weight. And that's what you should stick to. As you move up on the scale, as you level up, you reach the end of the scale, which is the slightly harder versions of weight loss. Where you have to follow certain protocols, certain diet plans like the keto diet, the IF diet, which make it a little bit more difficult for you, which asks for more sacrifices from your end. Now it's entirely your call which level of the scale you want to take up. But you gotta understand that if you take up, say, level 5 of the scale, the other 4 levels, all the rules in the other 4 levels are also included if you take up the level 5 plan. So the plan you gotta decide for yourself depends entirely on your mental state. Are you ready to make the sacrifices and get very rapid weight loss? Or do you wanna do it the easy way and get some slow but steady weight loss? Entirely your call. At level one, the earliest part of the scale, we're talking about sugar, but more specifically desserts. If you want to begin your weight loss journey, it begins by cutting off or minimizing on desserts. Why? Because it's got sugar, which is an addictive substance. It creates the same reaction in your brain that cocaine does. Second, it's got dirty carbohydrates like maida, which are again not meant to be in your system. And the third reason is that any dessert has a lot of fat added to it. Remember, there's a saying in the cooking world that says that fat is flavor. So when you add butter to a dessert, that's what makes that dessert delicious. That's what people enjoy. It's a combination of these three addictive foods that make desserts very addictive. If you want to begin your weight loss journey, give up on desserts or at least minimize them. For more information, check out the BB40 Weight Loss Challenge. And that's what brings us to point number two. The second thing you want to cut out from your life as an Indian is vegetarian junk food. Why do I say vegetarian and not non-vegetarian junk food? When you're eating non-veg junk food, you're at least gonna get some protein macros. So some of those calories that you're consuming, some of it is protein. But if you're eating just vegetarian junk food, so that's everything from the chiwda or farsan that we bring home, to your pav bhaji, to your safe puri, to the pani puri, to any vegetarian junk food dish that you can think of, it's primarily refined carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, along with a lot of unhealthy fat. So if you're a vegetarian and you like eating outside, your protocol is to eat a lot of paneer-based dishes. Remember, from the paneer, you're still getting a little bit of protein. You're also getting a little bit of added fat from the malai paneer that they use in restaurants in India, but it's still better than having some vegetarian junk food dish. 
So level two is eliminating both sugar as well as vegetarian junk foods except for paneer. If you want more information on healthier restaurant choices, we've got a video that covers exactly that topic. Level three, if you want to take the game a little bit further, it includes sugar, vegetarian junk foods, and making better carbohydrate choices at home. So there's good carbohydrates, that's complex carbohydrates or low GI carbohydrates, and then there's bad carbohydrates, that's simple carbohydrates or high GI carbohydrates. Now what makes a complex carb good? A complex carb is difficult for your body to digest. So it keeps you satiated longer. And what does satiated mean? It basically means that it keeps you full longer. Now your job at level three of the scale is to replace all the simple carbohydrates, which are these, with all the complex carbohydrates, which are these. That's what you gotta keep in mind. Now consider the case of white rice and brown rice. Suppose you're someone who enjoys white rice. You'll need a lot of white rice to make you feel full. But when you compare to complex carbohydrate like brown rice that includes the husk of the rice, it fills you up much more with a smaller amount and fewer calories and it's harder for you to digest. So it keeps you full longer. That way you end up eating fewer calories. Now if you replace all the simple carbohydrates in your life like your white bread, maida, white rice, potatoes with complex carbohydrates like brown rice, oats, whole wheat, sweet potatoes, you will observe that your energy levels are much higher, you're satiated much longer, and most importantly, you'll see a change in body composition. Why? Because effectively you're consuming much lesser calories and still feeling full. So replace all your simple carbohydrates with complex carbohydrates at level three of the scale. And of course, don't forget the first two levels. Also, before we get to the next level, keep in mind that up to level three is the protocol you can follow for life. If you follow these three rules, you'll almost never put on excess weight if you also keep your cheat meals in mind. When it comes to cheating on your diet, when it comes to eating unhealthy food, there's a few hacks about getting around that process. You can eat what you want and still lose weight. If you want to know more, check out the cheat meal guide video I've made earlier. Now moving on to level four. This is the part of the scale where we're not just talking about elimination. We're kind of talking about diet protocols. You guys must have heard of this word called the paleo diet. It's an American concept. I don't believe in that entirely, but what I do believe in is Indian paleo. You also include dals in this form of paleo dieting. Now, what is paleo dieting essentially? It's a low carb diet where you avoid all carb sources. So you'll avoid rice, potatoes, wheat, any grain, but you will include meat, you will include veggies, you will include fruits. And in the US, they don't really include legumes like dals because they contain a little bit of carbohydrate, but that's why we're talking about Indian paleo. Level four of the scale is Indian paleo where you eat fruits for breakfast and through the rest of the day, you can have veggies and you can have anything except for the carbohydrates that we know of. That's this list. Moving on to level five, the ketogenic diet. Keto bench. Yes, we're talking about keto again because it is an effective weight loss diet, contrary to whatever people might argue. A lot of people who think that keto isn't effective or keto isn't a good and healthy diet don't have a valid argument. So I've made an entire playlist on the ketogenic diet and for all you newbies, a keto diet is once again a very low carb diet where your net carbs can't be higher than 20 grams a day. Net carbs are all the carbs you get from even your vegetables and those will be your only carb sources for the entire day. And in strict keto that actually works, your vegetables can only be green leafy vegetables. You can't even eat carrots, beetroot, all that. If you want more information on the keto diet, make sure you check out the ketogenic diet playlist. I can't go over all the rules of keto in today's video, but that's level five. Remember, if you take up the keto diet, it can be absolutely life-changing. It'll make you lose weight very rapidly. This is the kind of transformation I had in a matter of two weeks through keto. Now, if you're someone who doesn't want to follow a low carb diet, your other option that's level six is intermittent fasting. Once again, an other protocol that I've spoken about on the channel myself. If you want more information on it, make sure you check out the video I made on intermittent fasting. And I've also put up an IF diet plan for those of you who want a detailed guideline. But let's talk a little bit about level seven. What I spoke about in the thumbnail of this video, how do you lose five kgs in a week? Level seven is all about combining intermittent fasting with a ketogenic diet. 
the whole point of keto or intermittent fasting an extreme protocol like that is to increase the speed of weight loss keto hastens up your rate of weight loss and so does intermittent fasting and it's completely safe to combine the two and get a super fast rate of weight loss you will end up losing 5 kgs in a week if you follow the rules of if and the rules of keto to the t Remember it's a very difficult protocol to follow combining these already very difficult protocols but it's entirely your call and the final level I'm going to talk about isn't healthy at all it's only meant for people who want to go for a photo shoot or for people who want to look very slim for a particular function it's meant for people primarily who want to go shirtless or who want to show off a bikini body that's when you take this up that's going saltless for a couple of days and also keep in mind this is a very unhealthy protocol it is not something i recommend but my job is to put out information out there and that's what i'm going to do basically if you want to get rid of all your water weight which is what the gm diet is about you leave salt entirely for one or two days that's what they do before bodybuilding competitions you combine this with a diuretic pill and a potassium supplement and it's safe to do this kind of horrible protocol for 2 days what basically happens is that the lack of salt combined with the diuretic drains your body of all its water even what we call water weight all that is drained so you're left with paper thin skin as people call it remember this is a dangerous situation for bn because it's partial dehydration for your body it's not something i recommend but if you're someone who wants to look ripped for one photo shoot this is a temporary solution So that's it guys it's eight levels of weight loss that we spoke about today on today's weight loss scale if you like today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you follow my own personal fitness journey on Instagram and if you want to learn a little bit more about weight loss and weight loss science make sure you check out the weight loss science playlist on beer biceps subscribe to beer biceps if you're new and share this with your friends if it helped you until next time guys from Ranveer we'll see you later